So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question, which just means my eyes go to that visual information first before reading the actual question. So let's check this table out. So the first column here is number of employees. The second column is number of restaurants. So it looks like this is saying that there are two restaurants that have between two and seven employees. There are, let's say, seven restaurants that have between 20 and 25 employees, so on and so forth. I think that I understand how this table is organized. But let's start reading in case I made a mistake somewhere. So it goes on to say the table shown summarizes the number of employees at each of the 17 restaurants in the town. Um, we continue on with the question by saying or reading which of the following could be the median number of employees for the restaurants in this town. So it says could be, right? So that's a very interesting statement. So a median is just like a middle number. If we were to list out every number of employees across all 17 restaurants, and then we figured out what number, and we made sure those numbers were ordered from, you know, in ascending order, let's say, or descending order, it wouldn't really matter. We'd be looking for the middle number there. Now, the issue that I'm seeing is that each of these number of restaurants have a range of potential number of employees, right? So for instance, if I look at the first row, I know that there are two restaurants, but I'm not sure if there are two employees at both restaurants, three employees, seven employees, five employees. I know there's not less than two, and I know there's not more than seven. And this is probably where this idea of like could be comes from, right? Um, okay, so I am probably going to need to do this a little bit differently than I usually do median number questions. Let's say I look at this in terms of range. So I'm gonna say I have between two to seven for two of my restaurants, eight to 13 for four of my restaurants. I'll just do it this way, eight to 13. You'll see, I hope this will work actually to help me visually get the median. And then there are two that are 14 to 19. I'm just trying to get this in ascending order and separate it out. Um, seven, 20 to 25, so one, I'm gonna say two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then 26 to 31, there are two, right? Okay, so if these were single numbers, I would just start canceling them out, and this is, this is no longer here, this bottom one. I just start canceling from the end, so that I cancel out the smallest value with the largest value, right? So in essence, I'm saying, I don't really care what the value was in here, because it's gonna cross out with whatever the value was in here. So it doesn't really matter actually what it was. Um, so then I have this second um, largest value crossing out the second smallest value. And then I start crossing these guys out. So that's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone, here, that's gone, here, that's gone. Okay, so that means the middle number has to be from this restaurant that has between 20 and 25 employees, and therefore the answer must be choice D, right? It's the only answer choice that has a value that's between 20 and 25. So hopefully that made sense, and hopefully you see how I solved that without really needing to know the exact number of employees at the restaurant. I just treated it as if I did know the number of employees, listed them all out in ascending order, and started crossing out from the ends and found which range of employees would be my median, um, again, 20 to 25, and then that leads me to the direct answer here of 21.